All right, let's get started. Um, tonight's episodes are so, so, so special. I will be, I will be um, talking to uh, one of my uh, authors and friends. Hey, I see she's already in the room. Great. What I want to do uh, before I bring her in is just kind of make a grand introduction for her. Um, like I was saying, uh, tonight's episodes, oh, excuse me. Tonight's episodes are so special because I will be uh, speaking with women that I already know, um, authors that I already know because they've published a book with me. And so I'm so excited. I can't wait to bring her in. Let me tell you about Fabrine Trebizo. So earlier uh, this year, um, I think it was like January 1st, January 2nd, we were talking about our goals. And one of the things that this author told me was that she wanted to write a book this year. So I was like, okay, bet, like, cool, you know, I believe in you. I think that you can get this book written. Well, I think it was maybe a couple weeks. I want to say not even more than a month. She sends me her manuscript. And I'm like, what? Like, okay, I already knew at that point that I wanted to publish her because it went simply from, hey, I want to write a book to, okay, the book is written to within 24 hours, we had her first set of edits done and I was hooked. I knew that her book would take off and just do well. And so far, all the reviews say what I already know about this book called All of Us. And so um, without further ado, let me go ahead and have her come in um, as well as her author journey. Let's get her in here in just one second. Hi. Hey. Oh, there can you, you are. Hear me? How are. Yeah, I can hear you. It's a little dark. Yeah, I got my fan on and it's kind of loud. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Ah, come on in, you guys. Um, she's just getting some light and we will get started. Um, we are going to be talking about her book. Here Better. it is, all of us. Um, okay. Sorry about that. And so, <laughs> let's wait. Okay. okay. You there? Uh -huh, I'm good. Okay. 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 Ah, I'm so hey. excited. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I've been mentally prepping myself for this because I don't know what questions they're going to ask me. So. Okay. Oh, I thought I had set them to you. That's okay. That's okay. Well, let's just jump right into it. I know who you are, uh, but just for the people that maybe are joining us from my end, they don't know you. So tell us your name um, and just a little bit about yourself. Okay, so my name's Faye Breen, but I go by Fabs for short because not a lot of people can say my name. And um, I'm out here in the Inland Empire, southbound, a little bit out of Los Angeles. Um, I wrote my book this year with you, and it's been very interesting and fucking fa Oh, sorry. And... <laughs> And fast as hell, so I'm I'm trying to keep up with you. Yeah, uh, see, look, I love I love that passion. You see, that's how that's how my authors move. We get pa we're so passionate about what we do. Yeah. I'm just telling people, um, if you're just now joining us, how this all started in the beginning of the year. Simply, you were like, "Hey, really, I want to write a book," and I was like, "Bet, let's do it." And then you came back. Was it a couple weeks or how long was it before you sent me your first draft? It was like six weeks. I literally yeah. sat here every single night, and I was just like playing music of what would like remind me of things that I think are important. And mm -hmm. I just wrote. I mean, I just literally when I told you that I wanted to write another book, I just woke up one day and was like, "Okay, this shit needs to come out." Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it did, and oh my god, so she sent it to me with no warning, she didn't even, like, maybe she told me a little bit about what it was, she's like, yeah, it's just about my life, I was like, okay, bet, like, I'm good, I can read this, and I got back to her, it was late, I got back to her, and I was like, oh my god, I'm crying, I, I'm gonna read this, like, I'm gonna finish reading it, because I was just supposed to edit it, and then I ended up reading it, and I was like, okay, what the heck, <laughs> 
It was fun. I mean, you didn't tell me to have the tissues with it. And so just know if you're going to get get this book, you're going to end up reading it in one day. And it is definitely a tearjerker uh, just because of some of the things that she touches on. So I don't want to give it away too much. Can you tell us a little bit about your book and uh, what inspired you to write about yourself, I guess? Um, well, the book is really just about like compiled stories of experiences of things that I've been through. Um, basically, like I felt alone on a lot of things that I was going through. And I was embarrassed to like reach out to other people to ask them like, hey, is this normal or what I'm going through? Like, have you ever been through it? Because you know, when you're prideful, and especially like my culture, like we're hard workers, we don't like cry, like we get up and we have to keep pushing no matter what. So a lot of the things were a little confusing for me with that mindset. So I basically wrote it all out, like what happened and how I felt about it and what I did about it. Just mm. so that I could have other women, but it's not like targeted towards just women because I know men go through some things too. Um, mm. Just so that they can have some kind of like a survival guide to kind of know mm. like, well, this person did this and maybe if I try this, it'll work. Mm -hmm. That's basically what this book is about. I think the next one that we're going to work on together is going to be elaborate, elaborated even more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. Well, let, hang on. Before we <laughs> jump ahead to that, one of the topics that you talk about, and I think it's so important just with everything that's going on in today's world is just that feeling of grief. And I know you talk about that in your book, uh, do you mind sharing some advice just for someone who's listening, whether they're an author or not, just like, how do you, how do you deal with that emotion? How do you deal with grief? Um, how I dealt with grief in the beginning when it first hit my life um, with my father, it was like overnight traumatic. So I didn't have like an opportunity to like um, be at his side while he was sick or whatnot, like the whole like saying goodbye to somebody that you love, you know, in that situation, I didn't have that with him. So it was very hard for me to, um, I guess, process that when he did pass away, like I had to give my kids up to my friend for like four days because I couldn't even pick myself up like off the bed. It was like mm -hmm. really bad. And I had um, a lot of resentment and a lot of, um, unsettled feelings that needed to be resolved. We were at, um, at like arguing at that time when he passed away. So I kind of felt like it, us arguing kind of pushed him a little bit because it was like mm. right after his birthday and I don't really miss his birthday, but this year I had to like take a stand mm -hmm. for myself, you know, and just be like, this is what I need from you and show you that I'm not playing, you know? And then like a week and a half later is when he had a hot shot and died, you know? So, mm. I just try to tr turn, like, the feelings of grief. I just try to, like, turn it into something positive. Like, I had to mm -hmm. go through this because I need to speak on his behalf. I had mm -hmm. to go through this because I need to speak on other people's behalf that don't have mm -hmm. a chance. Like, they don't know better. And that's how I kind of dealt with my grief, was just doing something about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's good. Don't just get stuck, stuck <laughs> in your grief, but do something about it for sure. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, on a lighter note, uh, what motivate what motivated you to write this book? I think you said you know so that other people would have a survival guide. But why this year? Why this year? Why now? Um, honestly, I think it's kind of a spiritual thing. Um, I just woke up and it was like, okay, it's time. It's time to like mm -hmm. reach your next level. And these are the things that you need to get rid of to be able to reach that level. And these are the things that you need to accomplish so that this mm -hmm. level can be reached. So it wasn't just like easy. I had to break relationships that I've been in for years and mm -hmm. uh, divide myself from people that I've been in my life for like 24 seven. Like I'd call them and talk to them and I just had to like really detach myself from anybody or everybody that was attached to me so that I'm able to do these kind of things. And I feel like it's my calling. I've always been somebody mm -hmm. to like help out or, you know, want to do good yeah 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 and that's why we work well together because we both wanted to get we both want to win hey so. don't get it twisted we still have little horns <laughs> and, and so, <laughs> I see let's you. talk about let's talk about that a little bit the publishing process how has it been i mean we've 
gone through this, you know, and you can share, I guess, what it's like, because I interview a lot of authors who don't have that much support. So what has it been like working with a publisher? I mean, I think working with an actual agent, like such as yourself, you give me that one-on-one, -on -one, you give me the attention I need. And I know, like, when I'm calling for attention, I want it. And you mm -hmm. don't ever hesitate to give me that attention. And I think that's great. Um, it hasn't been easy for me. This isn't mm -hmm. easy, even though it looks like it's easy. And, you know, you post these selfies and you're smiling and you look cute. But what people don't see are, like, the tears and the struggle of having, having, mm -hmm. having to get all this out and publish and share it with the world. Like, I mm -hmm. feel like when somebody tells me, hey, Fabs, I read your book, like, my mind is like, I'm naked, and you're looking at me naked, and all of a sudden, I just want to, like, oh, my God, you really, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's not been easy, but as far as, like, getting stuff done with you and the process itself, technically, it's been great and fast. Yeah fast yeah yeah oh my god it went <laughs> so fast I was like what within I think what'd you say six weeks so by March we yeah. had this out in March mm -hmm. I can't remember what day but this book came out in March and then that's when the whole thing with COVID-19 hit and so I'm so glad we were able to get this done let's talk about the book that's coming up uh probably this fall and so she already is on on to uh, <laughs> book number two that's just how she works. <laughs> uh, talk a little bit about that. What is it called? Um, it's titled Spiritual Awakening, and it's basically that. Like, it breaks down from where I left off on this first book, because the first book's kind of like, hey, this is me. This is what mm -hmm. I'm going through. And my, this next one, the Spiritual Awakening one, is like, hey, I'm awake, and this is what it is. Like, it's, mm -hmm. this is what it is. This is what we need to do as spirits. And if we're not on the same page, I'm just going to have to kick you to the side and continue going. Because it's so mm -hmm. important that we spread the word of what is out there that's bigger than us. Whether you believe in God, whether you believe in Buddha, whether you, whatever your culture is. And that God that you are praying to is the same God and universe that I am praying to. And I think it's so important that people understand that. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I'm scared. You guys, I'm scared. I'm asking her about it because I have not yet read it because I know it's <laughs> going to be another one of those that I'm going to be like, Woo, we got we to gotta get on it. So we're, we're taking our time getting that one together. That's why I said it will be probably published um, this fall um, is what I'm hoping and so can you give, uh, I have a couple author friends that are in here. Can you give them some tips about um, just the writing process? Um, the tips that I can well, help me was music. You know, music is my life. If we're not on the same mm -hmm. page with music, we're going to bump heads until we are. Because music is so important to me. So mm -hmm. um, music, anything that takes you back to whatever it is, like if it's a life kind of book, anything that's going to take you back to that listen to that music because it'll bring everything to you and you'll know exactly you know what you're trying to make your reader feel mm -hmm. uh, quiet time is important but it also can um give you writer's block because it's too quiet and you just start focusing on how it's too quiet and you just lose words that happens to me a lot mm -hmm. um so you just kind of walk away from it and then come back to it and with fresh mm -hmm. eyes you get fresh ideas and or you remember something that you wanted to write and it comes back to you and you just kind of go with that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah I I agree resting I'm a big I'm a fan of resting I'm a fan of doing nothing and sometimes yeah in those quiet times I'm like oh I got a I got a book idea I have a hundred book ideas one one of these days I'll have them all out but I agree I think it's definitely it could it could work either way so here's a fun question for you um if you could write if you could co-write with anybody dead or alive who would it be and why um well, I, I saw a documentary on, I think it was Margaret is her name, and she's mm -hmm. an, a famous author that writes about all kinds of different things. And she's mm -hmm. well-respected around the world because of all her different types of books that she writes. So I think I'd want to, like, kind of be her apprentice or write with her so that I can mm -hmm. get her wisdom or get some of that energy my way so I can write like her. Mm -hmm. Or, of course, like Stephen King because I'm just, like, a Halloween fanatic and I'd be okay. like, I have some good ideas. 
<laughs> yeah. I like it. It's very on the opposite side of the spectrum. Margaret Margaret Atwood. Yeah, what show? Do you remember the show that I was it on Netflix or Hulu? Mm-hmm. She has a, a there's a show. Yeah, there's a documentary and then there's um like a TV show based off of one of her books. I can't think of the name of it. If anybody that's watching knows it, please share the information with us cuz I I mean it just slipped my mind. Um okay. So then um I have something that I want to do. I want to play this game. Okay. I know girl. I just barely told you about it. <laughs> <laughs> what game we playing, girl? <laughs> We're going to play this game called Let's Rhyme. I've been doing this for the last few episodes and it it has been pretty fun, especially in this in like I've been saying, especially in this climate. I feel like one of the things that helped me and or that's been helping me get through it is laughing. Of and course. so it's such a childish game of rhyming that you can't help but laugh. So the way to play is I have a wheel right here. Um I'm going to spin the wheel. It's going to stop on a word. I'm going to tell you the name of the word and then we're going to go back and forth rhyming with that word. You can't say the same word twice and you can't say a word that I say. All right. Okay? okay. I've been kicking butt at this. Come on we'll now. See, you we'll guys are see. you're an author. You got this. You're a writer. You got this. Don't let me win. I the score right now is 5 to 3. So let's see. Okay, I'm going to spin it. Oh shoot. Okay, here we go. Money, money, money. <laughs> Speaking of money, the word is gold. Gold, so G-O-L-D. gold. Yeah, G O L D. Okay. Um, okay, I'll go bold. Fold. Hold. Mold. Hold. Sold. Uh uh hold. You said that already. <laughs> <laughs> No. Get one point fab. <laughs> one, one point for fab. Zero points for me. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna catch up. You're not gonna win. <laughs> oh, speaking of win, the word is win. I'm not even kidding you. Let me show you guys this. Wait, this is too funny. Normally, I take this thing off to show, but because my desk over here is kind of a mess, but I'm gonna just gonna show you so you know I'm not lying. This is the word win. Win. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh right. my god. Okay, let me turn it back around. Okay. So the word is win. Um, I'll go. Uh, sin. Sin. What'd you say? Sin. You know, sin. Uh-huh, F-I-N. Sin. Okay. Uh, men. Din. Like din. <laughs> okay. Uh, did we say 10 already? No, 10 like T N. Like T I N 10. 10 like like the tin man. Yeah. Chin. Uh Lin. Spin. Uh Christian. <laughs> Boyfriend. <laughs> Is that right? Is that right? <laughs> Should we give it to her? I don't know if that rhymes. <laughs> Maybe one in one. <laughs> okay, one in one. All right. Here goes the tiebreaker. Okay. The word is fam. F A M. Fam. Uh Sam. Bam. Bam. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> ah, Sam. <laughs> Blam. <laughs> uh, Ram? <laughs> Ram. Man? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Bars. Lamb? Cram. Oh, that's I'm good. good at that. Uh, slam. Jam. Ooh. Or jam. Uh, 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 Pam. <laughs> Shazam. <laughs> eh, that's not a word. <laughs> it's an app. <laughs> Is it? Okay, okay. Well, let's be fine. Okay, Shazam. Um, 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 uh, Tam. Clam? 
like Ooh, a clammy. Good. Yeah. Uh, wham. <laughs> Zam. <laughs> uh, what? Zam. 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 I make you already said Zam. Didn't you say Zam? No, I said Shazam. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Uh. 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 Fam. Oh. Oh. You said okay. Fam. I can't think of one. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> you won. So the score <laughs> now is five to four. I'm still in the lead. Team <laughs> Guest is trying to catch up, you guys. I will be back on later today at 6.30 with another uh, one of my winners. I call them my winners. Uh, <laughs> and so definitely come back. But is there anything else that you want to share? What what else can we look forward to? Um, our basically our future planning really we didn't really talk about that um yeah with all the stuff that's going on um with the books and stuff we do plan on doing conferences or maybe healing powwows or healing conferences and we really haven't settled in with how we're going to title it but i know it's going towards that direction where we're going to mm -hmm. be able to go out and do conferences with people that are like us um, and just be able to have a chance to kind of like mingle with each other and help each other out. So I'm mm -hmm. really looking forward to doing that kind of work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so amazing. This is the book again, you guys. All of us. I bring to Rizzo. Boom, there <laughs> it is. There it is. There it is. Definitely get that. It's on Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, um, as well as on my website, winpublications.com. Her website as well, all of us dot shop. Um, if you're visiting from my page, definitely click that little button up there, click the circles and give her page a follow. And if you're coming from her page, please do the same. Um, mm -hmm. I'll probably be doing these author interviews and game shows for the next couple of weeks. And then I'll be taking a break and then I'll be right back at you guys with some more. So maybe we'll have a round two. We'll Sounds see. good to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Other than that, have a good night. Um, right. And take it easy. All right. Girl, I'll talk to you, see you later. later. Bye. All right. Bye.